everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get full blight for Minecraft Bedrock version 1.21.80. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to the description, and there will be a link to a Discord server, which I do own, but with this Discord server here, the most important part is that you can go ahead and go to the Fulbright channel here, where you'll be able to have the resource pack. This is just an easy way for me to give you this resource pack, which is right here. So, the idea here is for you to click the link or click download here, and if you go ahead and go here, you will see that we have the resource pack. So just make sure to download the resource pack from Discord, and then you'll be able to continue. So, once you have the pack, just go ahead and close the window, and you can also close Discord if you want. And from there, all you want to do is go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now, this also works on mobile as well. All you want to do is simply go ahead and go to Fulbright here, and you want to double click the file, or right click, open, or open with Minecraft, or share with Minecraft if you're on mobile. And all you want to do here is just click on these Minecraft icons, and it is going to open up Minecraft Bedrock. Now, one thing you need to note here is that you need to be updated to 1.21.80, so make sure to update Minecraft. But if you are updated to this version, all you want to do is once the pack is imported, you want to go to Settings, then you want to go to Global Resources, then you want to go to My Packs, then you want to click Night Vision here, and you want to click Activate. And this will activate it, and it will bring it to active here. So here, all you have to do is go back to the home screen. And one thing with this pack is that it uses Vibrant Visuals, which is a new option in this Minecraft version here. So all you want to do is go to play. And from there, you want to edit an existing world or edit a realm or go to a server if, if it has one of these worlds. Now, one thing I need to note here is that some worlds will not have Vibrant Visuals active, especially on servers because it is a new feature. And the idea here is basically, if you go to an existing world or a create a new world here, I'm gonna go and create a new world real quick, I'm gonna show you something. Basically, if you go to experiments, you'll see vibrant visuals, it is an experiment. Now, one thing you need to note is that in newer versions, so for example, 81, 82 or something, this will go away and this will be something in Minecraft. So it will work on servers as well, just for now, it needs to be turned on by the person who no basically owns the world manually. So just do turn on experiments anyway. So make sure to turn on vibrant visuals if you're on the world or ask someone on the realm to do it on the server. Just later, they won't have to do this anymore because this will be inbuilt in every single world. So please be aware of that. But if vibrant visuals is on here, all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to general for example. You can change some settings, this does not really matter from there. You just really want to have vibrant visuals to be on. This is the idea here. Well. So I'll just do this just to make it nighttime, just to show you as well. But make sure vibrant visuals is on. Now there's also, you have to also activate vibrant visuals in Minecraft on your side. But just create the world and we'll get started. So make sure you turn down vibrant visuals and then we can continue. So here. As you can see, Vibrant Visuals is not on because you need to activate it from your side. This is what's gonna be later, right? For now, you need to activate it in the world and on your side, and later, it will only be on your side. That's the change here, which will make this pack very useful because it will be used in every single world. So, to get started, all you wanna do is go to Escape, Settings, then you want to go to Video, and you want to go ahead and scroll down and you'll find graphics mode simple here just click this and click vibrant visuals and here you can change some settings if you want this really doesn't matter here you can change stuff if you want just the idea is just for you to have vibrant visuals on and if it is you can go back to minecraft like so so here is vibrant visuals and what does the resource pack do well if we go on uh time basically we want to change time huh? we do slash time we'll do midnight as you can see everything is like visible now now the reason for this is quite simple is because this resource pack just maxes out the brightness of the world so now we have a very bright world that looks like this so yeah that is what this full bright 
resource pack do basically it just makes it everything nice and bright like so this gives you full bright like so and with this pack off i can show you this real quick if i turn off the pack real quick you'll be able to see the difference it will be quite jarring so let's just go ahead and turn off the pack and now let's go back to a world and do the same thing you will see there is quite of a difference so if you go to the world again let's go here it is as you can see it is quite dark so yeah even have a shadow so yeah that is without the resource pack it is very dark so that's the whole use of the resource pack it makes everything very easy to see in dark areas such as night or underground so yeah that is how we get full bright for minecraft bedrock 1.21.80 so if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye